will have a new name at the top of the U.S. Poker Open Series leaderboard after today. But the question is, can Joe McKeon notch his second win in just three days? He'll have to battle through an absolutely stacked final table to do so. Welcome in to the Poker Go studio in Las Vegas, Nevada. Welcome into the break desk. He is Brent Hanks. I am Jeff Platt, leading you into final table coverage of event number five and a new look of sorts for you today, Mr. Hanks. You're looking good. I you like, like it. this. Yeah. Huh? Clearly my wife picked this out. Probably Jeff. so. You know, Probably it matches so. the set. At, yeah. Thank you, Liz. Let's take a look at our tournament summary. 85 entries for this one, creating a prize pool of $850,000 and the stars were out for this. Nick Shulman, Daniel Negranu, Ali Amshurovich finished just short of the final table. Vanessa Cade out on the bubble. More than $200,000 up top in this one, the third 10K no limit of the series. Brent, we have talked plenty about the turnout and how good it is here. Is this representative of the overall poker landscape? Is live poker back? Jeff, have you ever been inside a Cadillac, my friend? I believe no. so, yeah. You, you, no, you clearly oh, haven't okay. because it's so comfortable, you never want to get out. Of <laughs> course, live poker is back. Players are showing up. All they want to do is compete, and clearly the numbers here in our events, it tells you just that, Jeff. That was good. No Limit Hold'em, Cadillac, all yeah, that. Like it all comes together with Brent. How about a look at our USPO series standings through four events. Now, Joe McKeon will move into first place no matter what happens today. He will pass Jake Daniels for that top spot. Sam Soverell in the mix, John Reardon in the mix, Steve Zolotow and Barry Hutter. Brent are right there, but McKeon could create some real separation from the pack today. He could create real separation, and he will create Ooh. real separation. Joe McKeon, yeah, he won the main event back in 2015 for about $7.5 million. You know what he's done since then? What's that? He's added $10 million more to his all-time earnings, up over $17 million. Jeff, he's the greatest player to have ever won the World Series of Poker main event. Wow. He is now wow. the contender, the leader here to take home the Golden Eagle. All right, let's take a look at the leaderboard for for today brought to you by Global Poker. It is free poker at its best. And Brent, in McKeon's immediate way, is Carrie Katz. El Jefe, the house that Jefe built with the chip lead, where I'm not used to seeing him with all these chips, <laughs> Jeff. Katz, McKeon, Hendricks, Wiseman, Frank Venaro, Brock Wilson, Vicent Bosca round out our final table. So Brent, you raved about Joe McKeon, and he did come out on top of event number three, one of our 10K No Limit events, topping a final table that included Ali Amshurovich, that included Jake Schindler, and I, I think it's safe to say the three-time bracelet winner has really proven that he belongs in these top high roller fields. Not only does it belong, Jeff, but he might be the, one of the most dominant players out there amongst the high rollers day in and day out. You take a look at the resume, he has always crushed high rollers. He took a little break between 17 and 18, but clearly he's back with a vengeance. The kid is a straight crusher. Yeah, let's look back at his winning moment from event number three because this is quite the hand. You don't see the double KOs to end tournaments that often, but we did see it here. Jacks against fives, and then bang! How about quads on the turn? My goodness, that's one way to get it done, baby. Joe McKeon today in his second USPO final table. I like this. Do you think Ray thought he won? I think Taking the winner's saying, photo? I got second. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I got okay, second. Okay, yeah. gotcha, gotcha. All right, let's talk teams, and I think we can say... Here comes Team Trusty Rusty. Oh, we're on the way, Jeff. We're on the way. El Jefe, man. Bring me home. Kerry Katz, Daniel Negranu, and Phil Helmuth, a part of Brent Hanks' team. Phil Helmuth, yeah, still. Helmuth is nowhere to be found. Driving me nuts. He won't answer my calls. He won't text me back. Phil, I need you here in Vegas. I'm feeling good, by the way, after that Sam Savarro win, after that Sean Perry second place. I'm feeling good against Team Trusty Rusty. Maria in decent shape. Ali Amshurovich, Brock Wilson at the final table today. Let's get to the final table, shall we? I think we are. All right, let's do it. More than $200,000 up top. Our final table coverage of event number five starts right now. Will the 2021 U.S. Poker Open find its first two-time winner? It's Joe McKeon looking for his second win of the series. We welcome you to Las Vegas, Nevada and to the Poker Go studio. Come on inside, everyone. This is final table coverage 
of event number five, a $10,000 buy-in, no limit hold'em tournament. Jeff Platt alongside Brent Hanks in the broadcast booth. Brent, it is an absolutely stacked final table to say the very least. Absolutely, and it all starts with the champ, Joe McKeon, coming in for victory number two, trailing LFA Ooh. by just a smidge, Jeff. Carry Unbelievable. Cats, our chip leaders. We take a look at our leaderboard brought to you by Global Poker. It is free poker at its best. Hendrix, Wiseman, Funaro, Wilson, and Bosca do round out our final table. Joe McKeon looking for his second win of the 2021 USPO, one event number three just two days ago. This is Kerry Katz's eighth US Poker Open cash in his career, still looking for that first win. Here's a look at what they're playing for. Our final seven guaranteed $42,500. Up top in this one, Brent, a cool 204K. Unbelievable payouts, and how about that trophy, the Golden Eagle, you think McKeon thinks that eagle will land in Philly quite nicely, Jeff? That could be his as we take a look at the tournament format brought to you by PokerCoaching.com. A $10,000 buy-in, a 125K starting stack for this one. Each player receives six 30-second time banks on day one. They'll receive another six when we get down to our so heavy. final six. They're pretty cool. 25K, 50K with a 50K big blind ante to start things off today. Also a whole card, too, yeah. fun fact. There's also a whole card camera. There's a whole card camera. Yeah, mine is like... Careful. Oh, is this a can? So it's not There's the RFID, it's just no, a camera? No, Jerry Katz, our chip leader. Joe McKeon. I might yell at you to... Joey Wiseman head. and Adam Hendricks. This man is effectively tied for second. Hendricks can play ball. He's been dabbling in the high rollers for a couple of years now. <laughs> Here's the thumbs up to Brock Wilson, who lays it down. I was like peeking at the cards. I'm like, I think this is what this hand is, but it looks a little different right now. Yeah. Or does six is bruiser? Adam Hendricks with almost $1.8 million you're, in career you're earnings. With yeah. deck. He's from Alaska, mm -hmm. Jeff. And I was chip leader with like first on Alaska's all time money list. There's a look at Joe McKeon. Brent, no matter what happens today, he will take the lead in the overall U.S. Poker Open Series of standings, passing yeah. Jake Daniels. One of these. Kian. Yeah will like be a like force yeah. to be reckoned with throughout oh, the remainder of, of the U.S. Poker Open. As good as he is, at No Limit Hold'em. Look out this series for Joey Wiseman, and look out this hand for Wiseman as he opens with ace-king. Kerry Katz has ace-jack and high-jack. See the player's chip counts to start the hand on the top of your screen. Current stacks in the bottom left corner. Cats will three bet to 300K. Nice little three bet here by Cats. And it's the sort of hand, Jeff, where you want a three bet if you face any else, any other resistance by means of a four bet from Wiseman. Quickly just pitch it into the muck. Carries the sort of player, likes to understand where he's at in the moment. This three bet will certainly One. tell the story. Here we go. Like you said, if you face resistance, can easily toss the ace jack into the muck. And with that, Joey Weissman becomes our new chip leader. He's too serious. This is Weissman's first U.S. Poker Open cash. His career live tournament earnings of more than $3.5 million. He just came off a second place finish over at the win for $230,000. Having a heck of a 2021 already. Vicent Boska is our short stack. A little bit more than 10 bigs. around to Frank Fanaro in the small blind. The whole funk. Frank Fanaro out of New Jersey. Very young, talented player. He's made a majority of his money online, Jeff, and he's just recently Owen. making his debut in these live events in the high rollers. Here we go, incoming. The whole funk is his online screen name. He takes that pot down. 
Six place or better today would mark his biggest career live score. One of the top online players in the United States. As we take a look at his bio, presented by GPI and the Hendon Mob. 13 of his 18 World Series of Poker Caches have come online. A guy you don't want to run into in the online streets. No, you don't. And he's really trying to break out. You know, what an opportunity here in this major to make his mark. Kerry Katz will come in for a race. Blue chips worth 5K, purple chips 25,000. Yellow bumblebees worth 100K apiece. Folds around to Joe McKeon in the big blind. He will defend. McKeon versus Katz here. Comes king, queen, eight with one diamond. Two clubs. McKeon does have the ace of clubs. Katz bets. Katz wins. Beautiful stuff by Hefe. Representing that sort of range. Being the early raiser, the early aggressor. His second cash of this year's U.S. Poker Open. Brennan, as we take a look at his bio presented by GPI and the Hendon Mob, you see he is 11th on the all-time money list. That is until this tournament wraps up. No matter how it goes today, Kerry Katz, 10th on the all-time money list. That's passing Jason Kuhn. Yeah, replacing Jason Kuhn. Kuhn won't give up that spot easily, though. Certainly won't. Phil Helmy or Phil Ivy, excuse me, is up next. He's in ninth place. Speaking of nines. Hendricks raises with those nines. King Jack offsuit on the button for Joey Wiseman. Wiseman, a renowned traveler, he and his girlfriend. He's looking to take a little journey right here on the button with King Jack in position. McKeon and Katz out of the way, heads up to this flop. Out comes 10-5 deuce, nines are still best. on Hendricks. Ten seconds. Check. Hendricks checks. Check. Wiseman checks back. Turn card is the three of spades. No spade for either player. 325K in the pot, as you see in the bottom right corner of your screen. Notice the pot control on display here from Hendricks. Not a spade in his hand. A little bit concerned about the button flat from Weissman, who also does not contain a shovel. No spade, nothing but king high. Does he need to make a move on the pot right now? Chooses to oh. check back, and River's a king. Remarkably unlucky ticket for Hendricks's two nines. I wouldn't expect him to bet again, considering it went check, check, flop, turn. If he did bet the river, more of a blocker sizing, Jeff, a smaller bet so you just can't get raised or call a larger bet if you do check. You nailed that one. There is the small sizing on the river of 80,000. You get one right every once in a while, huh? Certainly do. And Wiseman now considering 
kicking things up just in case he's up against that sort of holding. He's just going to flick in the call. Flick in the call, show down the winner. Nice start to the day for Joey Wiseman. And I'm sure viewers at home are thinking, why didn't you just bet the flop? Why didn't you bet the turn? You let him get that king. It's all about playing defense, folks. I, Trying to yeah, move up. I only know how to play one game. Those pay jumps and take a look at Wiseman. Game. What's with this? You don't know how to play one game. Cheap Joey the Wiseman's <laughs> bio <laughs> brought to you by GPI and the Hendon Mob. Yeah. Won the $2,500 No Limit event at the series in 2012 for almost $700,000. Fenaro, not just the ace of spades, but the ace of clubs as well. Riverly. Starting the hand with 22 bigs. Frankie Funk. Opens here in the hijack. A lot of history, Jeff, between mm -hmm. Joe McKeon and Frank Finaro. They actually battled in 2020 in the $3,200 WSOP high roller bracelet event where McKeon won heads up. Finaro finished in second. Tremendous showing, six figure scores for both players. That was McKeon's third bracelet. Finaro has to be a bit disappointed after being asked about his stack size to see McKeon fold. Hendricks in the big blind with the ace eight. And he will fold as well. And that was quite a lay down Big by fold. Mr. Hendricks, getting a price with ace Big eight. Fold. Big fold. Just flicking it into the muck. Did he pick up best some hand. sort of live best tell hand. off of Frank? Best hand. Oh, best hand. Oh, best hand. Good, uh, fixes. Lower. <laughs> Why'd you fold? Because I'm scared. <laughs> Rightfully so. I didn't like any of my options. Yeah, no, there were no good options for that hand. It was worth the 10, 15 seconds I used to figure it out. Though. Line versus blind here. Let's go the short stack. Won't take much for Hendricks to just pile them in. Boska has 10 big blinds behind. Hendricks certainly is worried about putting his stack at risk. All in. The third of his chips, 8-7 is good enough. Boska's got to take a look. Nobody home. They're bully. <laughs> Guess so. You know. Did the work for you, I guess. Low variance for you. Yeah, like it. Nice hand, Adam. <laughs> Adam Hendricks has been all over the world, really, from Alaska and originally. He played the nines. I know. Yeah. Check down, wait till he gets there, and then I bet. Went to school at Virginia <laughs> Tech. You put in chips only when That's you the opposite of how you're supposed to play poker, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, check the two streets you're ahead, and then bet, <laughs> bet when you're behind. Bet the king, yeah. Max value. Yeah, that was good. Joey, <laughs> Joey thought you played a great. <laughs> He's been almost up to 50 bigs. Come in for a race here with the Queen Jack. McKeon finds aces this time. Oh boy. How shall we proceed? First, stare him down, left and right. Then, stare down the rest of the table. Shall we three bet? Shall we flat? Keep everyone guessing, Jeff. Chooses a three bet route, makes it 300,000.
Weissman. <laughs> Correctly <laughs> lets it go, huh? Yeah, of course. You surprised? What? You surprised? He, knew, he did the, he literally got me. Because when I saw him grab all these, I like gave a reaction. Look at our chip denominations aces. presented by like, Progressive. Yeah, I'm in, please, I'm in. Blue chips worth 5k. Blue's worth 25,000. Yellow bumblebee's worth 100k. If I can just trigger a little bit of anxiety, that's fine. You can think about it. You'll have to think about it. I'm not here to mess with people yet. Not yet. Queens this time for Wiseman. It's been active so early. All options, then play the fast way. We've seen some premiums early, Jeff. As much as true. You're, typically, you're going to get a lot of tight play at these final tables. Nobody's really running away with it. Weissman with 47 bigs, obviously, now opening with these two queens as our chip leader. Fanaro will defend in the big blind with the 8-9 of clubs. King at 9-4. Nara flops a pair of nines, still behind. Still behind, but now with a fighting chance. Mm -hmm. Connects certainly would expect him to take a look at a turn card. Let's watch how Weissman decides to proceed. Despite it coming king high, still going to continue with a down bet. This is how you put the pieces of the puzzle together. He's going to learn a lot about Fanaro's hand right now. Okay, I could be up against the king. Maybe I'm up against the nine. There are various draws on board. Seven on the turn. When you have a hand exactly as two queens, you can eliminate in your mindset hands that would be at like queen 18, jack, queen 10. Asking also having like the queen of spades in your hand is a fun card. Those lines where they don't have to do anything. Yeah, Joey is worried about a king. A that I shouldn't play it. They ever have a, have a one line? He can still get value uh, I mean, from like, all of the nines. Let's see what he does. There is a check, like the, control the, the pot. River brings another seven. I played 1,500 mixed games before, but not eight games. I actually have a cash in spud eight, and I play that as a pure degenerate. And now, I don't have nothing yeah. to do. let's watch Fanar. I played very poorly. You saw a blocker bet like when I got deep not too long ago from Adam players Hendricks. Players let's see if Frank Fanaro decides to bet something on the smaller side. If you get called, wonderful. There it is, very small, 50,000. Again, the you don't want to check so and face a larger bet. This is probably a tournament where it's hard to bust. Maybe not. I don't no. Know. You will not play yet. Yeah, okay, I, <laughs> I know how to play more than one of the games, maybe, but he's studying right structure. now for it. He's going on YouTube. What do you do this for the king, Jeff? <laughs> I hope someone that's Joey's asking himself that. Or would he size it up uh, even yeah, more? If it's not a king, can I raise it up and get max value from a nine? And he's just going to flick in the small call. Just get in there and play. Show down the queens, more chips. Headed in left. the direction of Joey Wiseman. Oh, you should have. I should have had that. Yeah. You would have lost like this. That's how I lost to you in the last time. Where are you from, Frank? That is Jersey. Oh, yeah. No. We don't want that. Break it down, Jeff. Huh? Hit the music yeah. under the watchful eye of the Golden Eagle. So we take a look at our Poker Go Tour leaderboard. Ali Amshurovich on top. He has five Poker Go Tour wins. Sean Perry has two, also a second place finish in event number four, the Big Bet Mix. Chris Brewer right there. Sam Soberl has a U.S. Poker Open win on his resume already. Quietly, Sean Winter is in there mm. in fifth. Winter is coming, Jeff. Perhaps it is in June. I felt the same way. Can't do it. Once I lost those nines. Boska with the ace four over. diamonds. Yeah. And Once eight bigs. One, I had aces, tournaments over. I had a good squeezing hand. Most of it will go in here. Yeah. Yeah. Considered it. Boska, a former professional golfer in his younger days. Nah, you folded way too fast, I think, for that. 
from Spain. More than a million dollars in career earnings. Like Tremendous young talent. This is a name that you will be familiar with over the next couple of years as he makes his mark on the Poker Go Tour. The second Poker Go Tour cash finished in sixth at a 10K at the Venetian in May. Set at Brent, both live and online. Five caches in the Super High Roller Bowl online series as you look at his bio presented by GPI and the Hendon Mob. 16th on Spain's all time money list. What did you have on me when you jam, Joey? We'll find out soon enough. He's king. He's king. It is. For sure. Well, everybody knew. He's picking good spots over there. I guess so. Good thing you didn't have that against him. Yeah, I was rooting for it. I would have preferred him have Ace King than King. That's true. <laughs> Felt like Ace King. I can see it. It's me, not so much. Well, we hear from Brock Wilson for the first time today. What did you have? Ace Jack. Brock, one of the new kids on the block, Jeff. Very young talent. Out of no, Artsley, New York, now living in Las Vegas, Nevada, and very good friends with Ali Amshurovich. How much start the hand with Brock? I think like 8.05. Pull in. All in. Venaro rips it with the sixes. Ace king in the muck. Yep. <laughs> That'll get through. I didn't want to flip. I put him on a pair. So. I was shoving on you blind until he did it. I mean, you well, that's good. It. I'm glad. Uh, <laughs> Someone was going to take it from me. I would have folded. You would have won the pot if you got by him. Well, there's always oh. next time. Yeah. Funaro and Wilson, just a couple yeah. of these new faces we've seen. You certainly are, Jeff. Yeah. You're just mad that I sit in your bed twice? It's very oh, refreshing. Come out from my big blind. Makes that see a legend like yeah. McKeon. Oh, you want it? Sort of. Whatever. Okay. Set the, that one makes set the stage for these two young guys mm -hmm. to come that's through. Your bed, huh? I know you. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a 25, or whatever, whatever they usually are. That's how you want to be able to just down to 20. Shit in Brock's bed. I won the last time. Did you, you shit, shit, shit in the bed? Or did you I actually shit in the bed? You didn't shit the bed. You shit in the bed. I shit in the bed. It was an intentional. Of course. It's Brock's bed. Yeah, he didn't sleep in my bed and have an accident or anything. but. Again, most of it from Boska, this time with Queen Jack. Wilson as ace queen. I think we're going to see the rest of it from Wilson go in here. Uses a time extension, granting him an additional 30 seconds to act. Certainly taking his time with this spot, Jeff. On. All there it is. There it is. Queen into the muck. Here we go. Boska, the one all in and at risk with Queen Jack. Dominated at the moment by yeah, Wilson's ace queen. Hand. I would take a job, actually. Seven, eight of clubs. It's kind of hard to job, though. Yeah. Didn't ace jack. Yeah, yeah even job. I'm like for sure going to win. I think they hit a queen. Saw McKeon fold a jack. <clears throat> Waiting for 10, 9, 8. Comes the flop. Wow. Comes King 9 a 3. Now you want your hand. Bosca 
could also find a 10. It's not really a fun they do it so slow. I never yeah. realized how the slow yeah. they do it until now. <laughs> Especially when you're in the hand. Oh, you're, you're feeling some anxiety? Well, no. You it's build just, the drama. Usually, the you see it, it's just quick. But. Well, it's for the TV. We've got to slow it down. You got to make sure that they know that he has four tens and three jacks, and that's not one of them. So, Joe McKeon did our job for us. Should bring him into the booth, and that'll do it for Vicent Bosca. Out in seventh for $42,500. Will not be the last time we see Bosca. He'll be firing the rest of these well, events, Jeff. Great player. 43 points on the board for Bosca in the race for the U.S. Poker Open Series Championship. That's real. That's funny. Like the first few, you're on the same bullet, right? Yeah. You know what, Joe? If you made that call, you wouldn't be here. That's what I. Okay. That's what I came. That's, that's what, what I, you. Uh, that's the conclusion that. I came to. Well, it depends on the river, but I had I had a good hand. Did you? Though if you snapped, it wasn't a good hand. But King Jack. Brock Wilson so, close yeah. to passing the three hand, million though. dollar mark yeah. in career live tournament earnings. So we take a look at our leaderboard brought to you by Global Poker, free poker at its best. And Brent, a decent start to say the least for Joey Wiseman. Yeah, Joey's running hot. He's had some big hands, big moments. Uh, you know, it's still anyone's yeah. game. No, Jeff, you look at the short stack, that's what has my attention. Frankie Fanaro, still 23 big blinds right now. Still sitting pretty. Katz, Hendricks, McKeon effectively tied for second. A slight drop off before we find Brock Wilson's name. Wilson has two second place finishes, two third place finishes, and a fourth place finish on the Poker Go Tour. He is close to that signature win, I would say. He is, he's seventh right now on the Poker Go Tour leaderboard. He is one of these new kids on the block mm -hmm. that you and I have talked a lot about, Jeff. Good friends with the guy in number one, Ali Amshurovich. They talk a lot of poker, a ton of strategy. You're gonna hear from him. For the remainder of the year, he is a very passionate player, always studying, always improving, and ferocious at the table. Some of the other new kids on the block, well, we got Chris Brewer, Jake Daniels, the yeah. winner of event number one. And how about John Reardon, who won our big bet mix? Yeah, event. Reardon, he, you know, he took some time off from tournaments. He went back into cash games, young player out of Florida, and he's back. He's focused on tournaments now, and he's already made his mark. Take a look at this, Joe. Yeah, speaking of mix, the eight-game mix, event number six going on right now. And Brent, look at this turnout. It is a jam-packed Poker Go studio for this one. It's unbelievable. And what you're seeing, Jeff, is about 95% of the players in this field have not played any other event. Wow. They're here for eight-game, except that guy. There's John Reardon sitting next to the yep. Prince. And how about... Commodus, Sean Perry. Sean Perry finished second in that big bet mix event. He had never played deuce to seven low ball before that very event, and he finished in second. He said that deuce was his game, and he also said, Brent, that, that Golden Eagle trophy has his name written on it. Uh, he certainly did. He said it numerous times. Jeff, you and I, before we started the show, actually had a chance to talk to his father, Ralph Perry. And uh, boy. Absolute legend. He's out there in the field, too. You've got a father-son combination going on. Quiet. Said his son might have gotten a, a little lucky in the deuce to seven. Oh, you think? Just, he's just a little lucky. It's all right. You're allowed to get lucky in this game. So Otherwise, too. nobody would play. It's the beauty of it. King Jack for Wilson. Player's bank of time extensions has been replenished. I Six am, more I to am. each. Worked nice. so well with King Jack yeah, last like, uh, time. He's going to try it again, Brock. And uh, McKeon, what avenue shall we stroll down? Option to three bet on the button with two uh, nines. Like 1.3. Option to simply just flat. Keep the punt small. Control your destiny. Does choose to just call on the button. Hendricks in it. Sort of a strange spot. Ace five offsuit. Heads up, I'm more inclined to call. Three way, I'm just too afraid of being dominated by better aces. 
says no thank you, heads up to this flop. Jack, 8-3. Wilson flops top pair. Yeah, and a beautiful texture for Mr. Wilson. Has the king of clubs in his hand. He's gonna go on the defense right now. Underrepped, Jeff, just in case McKeon is being sneaky. He's gonna learn a lot about Joe's hand right now. If he checks back, he has to feel very good about that top pair. McKeon will fire 125,000. This is where McKeon just gets weird, right? This bet clearly can deny equity from hands like ace queen, ace king. You're happy to win it right now. As we can see, Mr. Wilson not going anywhere with top pair. I don't think Joe's going to like to see this. He's going to be very curious about what he's up against. Queen of Diamonds on the turn. McKeon now with a gut shot. Okay. Another check from Wilson. Another stare down from McKeon. And this added equity now. I sort of wonder, does Joe just take it right to the dome and check back in hopes of getting to the river? The queen not necessarily a great card. Does indeed check back. River's a blank. I would not be surprised if Brock checked once again with King Jack. Unless he can put Joe on exactly what he's up against. Could it be two nines? Could it be two tens? And here we go. We're just gonna get the showdown. Both players very content with that. Oh, Mr. Wilson. <laughs> Drag a nice little pot, Sir son. Wilson has moved up to more than 1.7 million in chips. You mentioned he was good friends with Ali Amshurovich. As soon as Wilson turned 18, made the drive from the suburbs of New York City to Turning Stone Casino, where you can play at the age of 18. Yeah. yeah. Met somebody there. Around. He said, you know what? I got a guy who's also in a game theory. You should talk to him. And that <laughs> friend was Ali Amshurovich. They've been talking since 2015. Boy. I just figured you, the button wouldn't go for it very much. I could Obviously, I Ali wanted. climbing the ranks, yeah. considered by many to be maybe one of the best post, to do it right now. Liam Shervich with five Poker Go Tour wins. Nobody else has more than two. Thought I could win on the river. Yeah. I understand. Kerry Katz has a Poker Go Tour win. He won a 10K at Aria in January. Hendricks with the 90s clubs and the small blind. Hendricks is a very good no limit player. His best game, however, is in fact pot limit Omaha. He loves That's cash smart. and tournaments. Did finish fourth at the 10K PLO <laughs> at the USPO left. in 2019. <laughs> Show it to him. Flip it. <laughs> I don't know. I, I can't help but smile. I, I have to like hold in the smile during hand. Anyone does anything That's against hard. you, you just start smiling. <laughs> Did you to look at your cards poker. already? What's up? Do you know what you had already? No. Oh, okay. I don't look. I think I might have done something different. Because what he'll do is he'll start, if you look, he'll start looking at you, trying to figure out if you're strong or weak. And then I'll yeah, be like, Yeah, that's a, that's a tough strategy. Be like, oh, he's weak. I'm going to open more. And then I can't give him that info. It's Jack for Joey Wiseman. Cheers now. Well, there certainly is something to be said for making live reads, but when you've made it to this level, to this mm -hmm. stage, it becomes much more difficult. Now, certain players will swear to you that they've got reads on everyone in the room, Jeff. How true is that? I don't know. You know, do the ears really wiggle when you're nervous, <laughs> you know? Uh, are you peeling the Oreo? Does it give away the towel? These guys, it is much more mathematical when it comes to the decision-making. Not so much the physical stuff. 
Joey Wiseman leads our final six, who are guaranteed $51,000. 17K pay jump from sixth to fifth. Uh, one six. And then fifth to fourth, and then fourth to third. Second place worth $144,500. First place, 204K and 204 points in the race for the U.S. Poker Open Series Championship. Hendricks opens with the ace nine. Eight's on the button for Brock Wilson. Call here. Really? Yeah. Queen yeah. seven three. Like Wilson's eights are best. It was much shorter though. Started at sixty. It was like me and Ali had over. This is where things get fun. At the beginning. Had less people. One there, Broadway ticket on board. Yeah, Queen seven three. Table. Very dry texture. Okay, so you basically this was sixty k. This would have been. The first I'm certain one, yeah. if Hendricks is simply check like shutting down. And ended at hundred. So we didn't even play two hopes hours of it going before. check check, and he can see the turn. Here we're all even, this could take a while. Okay. You're like way and way the shortest. I feel like you're not we'll that way and way the back. I got like 1.15. 10 on the chart. Really? No, you don't. Let me recount. Maybe after I lost that one. I have like fucking a million, dude. 1.1. <laughs> 1. 1. Point. Yeah, no, 1.15, yeah. 1. that's right. Oh, I thought you said 1.5. 1.15, 1. No. 1. I can believe. Okay. 7, 8, 9, 10. No, 1.05 after that. I had 1.0 before the last. Post your hands. Joey was ecstatic. To Hendricks see not even moving a single much. chip into the middle. Yeah. Very content with checking. Obviously, when you have two eights, better than facing like four. Mr. Wilson has. Very play. happy to oblige. It's pretty easy. You beat the nine. Trying to be, trying to be good. Trying to be this just be make. checked down. I'm trying to play ICM. Full way. Raise both Wilson spots. Choose to fire here. Oh, you want to raise? Okay. I want to raise both spots. Ten seconds. Where's the other spot? The King Jack. Check. Oh yeah, that one. Be quarter pot. Trying to figure After out. Hendricks checks. How are the mics? Like, so and it good. just seems like Hendricks seems always good. has ace high they can hear. No, in these spots. Obviously. Unless he had a hand like we are being quiet. If they talk out, seven like, five we're suited, we're not seven eight more. suited, and took this exact line. Yeah, but Wilson can rule a few of those combinations out. He may elect to go for a smidgen of value with two eights. Mics don't care. In hopes of getting called by Ace High, he's going to do just that, Jeff. He's hoping to get called by Ace Jack, Ace, Ace King, or Ace Nine. I was rocking with King Jack too. Could have that got an end, but it would have been fine. You could have to put yeah. Hendricks in a bit of an uncomfortable position. Kind of. Mr. Wilson, bottom it. There are plenty of King High sorts of lines. But I think Brock Wilson could be taking his bluffs where Ace High can still beat that. Nice little value bet from Mr. Wilson. I thought Brock would just do a lot of folding. Did nines? Of course. And like, he did get to shut down for one bet, which isn't bad. Although the, like, the board also. It can only be King Jack. Couldn't beat Ace Nine suited? No. You beat Ace Nine. Oh. Wow, you. Oh, okay. So you really were. You really did a bet down. He definitely didn't want you to bet. No. Thought about using a different size too. Just went normal. He did the snap call trick. Not the worst thing in the world if he just folds like ace queen off suit. It's my instinct. I probably would have went check check on the face of the bet if I checked the flop. Oh, yeah, two tens. Pulls I around to Weissman in the small blind. Turn, I, uh, I don't know what to think anymore. 
Oh, the reason Point why three time. I wasn't bluffing. The river. <laughs> 60? 160. If you snap. White's so been going right after McKeon. I'm so used like to seeing snapped, blind on blind and, and <laughs> limping. Yeah. It was a thin value. Pack. I guess yeah. queen three suited. You, like, if, when you reached and once in a while, we I, I would have been dead. Should yeah. be mixing it up with raises. Just going to do just that. Here we Unless, go. I guess you had, if you had eight, McKeon seven, calling with the king nice. nine. Seven, three, three. Trip threes for Weissman. Sometimes you just know, Jeff. That's the dream right there. You're gonna right flop there. trips. See what a start get for Weissman. Nine for Joey. Super thin. I was like, all right, you know, probably do it here too. So. One hundred. Walker bet. <laughs> get value from the A sex. Down bet to one hundred K. No, no, I don't mind. I play versus him. Saying now, uh, I felt more comfortable betting eights because of that. Just a couple of Joes playing some poker. Float, King High can still be the best of it. I didn't think you were ever gonna show or raise. Turn card is a five. McKeon never gives up. I have a feeling possible, I guess. second barrel he'll have no choice unless Weissman understands so. Probably full, that Joe McKeon would have been really can be floating quite light. Would you ever let him bluff it off? Check trips and let him go. Turn him loose. I'll tell you what, I would have launched out of my seat if you were And this sort of <laughs> texture, seen, especially yeah, with the presence of a five, you have to believe your man funny, could have connected with that turn card. Just in case that is the situation you bet. You love fucking Fortunately, people, so I don't wanna nobody home, on to and we move on. Get all feisty, but yeah, I would have jumped. I spin up to almost three million. Nobody else at two. Still plenty deep. 425. Average stack, about 35 bigs. Not for this guy, Jeff. Joey Weissman, chip leader. 27% uh, of the chips in play. He told us before play, doesn't feel too nervous about this final table specifically, but he, he's a bit aware of how his play may look on camera, doesn't want to come across. and. I appreciate that he admitted this, doesn't want to come across as quote unquote looking stupid to the poker world with any plays that he makes. Well, you know a lot about that. <laughs> and it is <laughs> nice Parker. to hear a guy like Joey Weissman say it and makes the rest of us feel better. That much is very true. Carrie Katz gets a walk. El Jefe, the poker house that Jefe built. Poker Go Studio, founder of Poker Go. Quite the player, his eighth career U.S. Poker Open cash. Back to back second place finishes in 2019. In the 25K No Limit to Ali Amshurovich and in the 25K PLO to Stephen Chidwick. He had everybody fooled for a couple of years that he was just some businessman <laughs> playing high rollers and then, uh oh. And then boom, 10th on these the all-time yeah, money list. And these events with whole cards started taking place in the studio, and that was it. They said, wait a minute, man. You are ferocious. You are a hell of a player. Acquired his revenge on Ali Amshurovich by beating him heads up to take down super high roller bowl London. Wilson opens here. Punaro calls off 20 big blind stack with the queen jack of diamonds. Weissman has the ace eight of clubs and the cutoff. 1.1, right? Decision time for Weissman. Could we peel or is it a better spot to simply three bet? And of course, fold is always an option. Have to be concerned about Brock Wilson, the original razor. And would Fanaro mix up flats with a hand as good as ace queen, ace jack, ace jack suited. Certainly believe those hands to be in his range. Chooses the fold option as it does fold around to Adam Hendricks. The king seven of hearts in the big blind. And again, you hate to be the third wheel. However, I think king seven suited is just a little too good, Jeff. I'm peeling. C3 agrees. Hendricks doing the same thing. Three-handed to this flop. 
Here comes Queen Jack, four with Queen two three. hearts. Yeah, win, Hendricks okay. flops the flush draw. Wilson with a pair of jacks. Top two pair for Frank Fanaro. This ought to be a pretty fun one. I Again, if I'm Brock here, yeah, okay. we've got a pair. Neat. Jack of hearts in our hand, but we just need to be careful. Pot control is key and critical. Check over to Fanaro in position. That's what it looks like when you have top two. The whole funk, Frank Fanaro. And he'll fire flop to the tune of 125,000. Hendricks now with a flush draw. Jeff, I would expect him to call a very high percentage of the time and really never putting in a raise. No need to do that. Have to imagine that Fanaro has certainly connected with this sort of board. Ace queen makes sense. Top two, as we can see. Can certainly be concerned about the nut flush draw being available. And Brock Wilson just in a horrible spot now with middle pair. And Bold. look at that. Yeah, it's going in the muck. Finds the correct lay down. 655,000 in the pot. Turn card brings a blank in the form of the deuce of diamonds. Well, we can assume Hendricks will check and Fanaro now. Certainly understands he's up against a draw or he hopes he's up against some sort of queen X. If that is the case, we need to bet. I don't see any reason why to check back here. Top two, let's protect our hand and also at the same time get maximum value whenever we do have our opponent absolutely nailed. Uses a time extension, granting him an additional 30 seconds to act. He has 805K behind. 655,000 in this pot. Ten seconds. Looks like it'll go about half pot, 325,000. Not a terrible price for Hendrix. Just don't love it. You have to wonder, is my king good, or could I still be up against the nut flush draw? And he's going to give it up into the muck. Got a good one. That was a burn card. Nice pickup for Frank Funaro. Yeah. Event number five of the 2021 at US Poker Open. Let's see what we have on deck. Eight game mix going on right now. Then a 10K Hold'em, a 10K Pot Limit Omaha. Another 10K No Limit, the final No Limit Hold'em event at that price point. 10K Short Deck, and then the 25K No Limit, the 50K, the main. You love the big buy-ins, oh, baby. I'm such a sucker for the main event. All the drama, it should come down mm. to the wire. Who's going to take home the U.S. Poker Open Player of the Year and that beautiful, glorious Golden Eagle? Could it be this man, Jeff? Joe McKeon. Number one right now on the USPO leaderboard. Yeah, he won, he won event number three for more than 200K. Weissman opens here. In the hijack with the A7 off, blinds have gone up 30K, 60K with a 60,000 big blind ante. Joe McKeon, now at about 20 bigs in the cutoff. And we'll come in for most of it here. And you don't love it, but it's all you can do, Jeff. You're just handcuffed. You've got a little small baby pair. You're thrilled 
to get the fold and pick up that pot. The 2015 World Series of Poker main event champion also won the 10K limit event in 2017 as we take a look at his bio brought to you by GPI and the Hen and Moth. Out of Pennsylvania, graduated Arcadia University with a degree in math. A big Philadelphia 76ers yeah. fan, Brent, to say the very least. Oh, well, Frank? that's why I nicknamed 24. him Philly. Very creative. Very creative, Jeff. I dug Adam. deep for that one. What do you have, Adam? 1-3. Looking for a second USPO title. Only two one players five, have won two or more U.S. Poker Open events. David Peters How about you, Brock? How much has you two titles. Good question. Stephen Chidwick has four. Uh, 25 again. 1.65. to get back to 25. A lot of yeah, 25 that before medium yeah. stacks. That's what I got. Like everyone has a similar amount. I also got dealt a good hand, so oh, it, I mean, it was worth at least 9.25. <laughs> this is not worth anything. Cats with threes and 30 bangs. A cutoff. Fling it into the muck. <laughs> Hendricks with a wave. <laughs> to Fennaro before squeezing his hand and folding. It's all of Ali, except Ali's Kerry here. could have come in with an open there. It's just, you're up against great players. Unless you flop a three, you're never too comfortable. The two East Coast young guns in a duel. So many times you're yeah. make me sweat that getting thing. called by the big fl big hole. blind, Bobby. defending. Yeah. It's the same number. It's going in. 21 big blind stack. Sounds like it's going in. As they the said, the East Coast Young Guns, like blind versus blind. How low are we talking? There's the limping in the small blind that you're more accustomed to. Yeah, you're just getting a great price. Uh, I think Brock Wilson will be very balanced. Most of the time limping, some of the time deciding to raise. Uh, never really folding. Even his bad hands, Jeff. I don't know if you know yeah, this, but Jack number. six offsuit, not a good great. hand. Oh, oh, right. Not I mean, a good not hand, Jeff. Yes, yes, right. Barely. But Barely. you have a gut shot. You have a gut shot. You have pair equity. You block the nuts. You and you have jack it. high, which is good. Right. You're going to get away with a lot of stuff. But not Might be able to stab this He's sort of board try. or simply go to showdown. I think you're party, underestimating jack six. Probably better by now, right? Play good, run good. 10 clubs. Not a Ooh, seven ball on the river for Fnaro. Yeah, maybe. I didn't have a jack, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I didn't think you had a jack. Do you really think I bet the flop with like 10? Well, that's, why, that's why I bluffed. Yeah, it's reasonable. Yeah. But, like, I'm telling you, I didn't that flop with all the ice and shit. It's like 10 7. Yeah. Instance, I just so thought I, you were. Uh, Given the outs, like, texture, yeah, just just Rock might just think jack high is good. Yeah. Flushes. She's right, the bad news. Check that. Kind of jack jack disregarding jack the combo. Yeah. Shouldn't well, have let him get there, Adam. Clubs is absolutely let me get there. Yeah. That would that that like very reasonable. Clubs, 100 of the time. Very reasonable. A couple Best minutes left if you're right. watching us on YouTube before we shift yeah. over to Poker Go exclusively. Thank you all so much for joining us on our free U.S. Poker Open preview. We should have had at least a club in my hand. See on Poker Go at the top of the hour. I don't think you have jacks either, but... I don't think that'll make hand of the week. I check calls. Super draft, Brent. You've been getting into the mix in the daily fantasy poker streets. Some would call me the all-time winningest player in the super draft free rolls, Jeff. Is that so? How much have you earned? I have turned zero into forty dollars in pending today's final table, Jeff. I'm making a run. But don't the winners of the free rolls get at least a hundred dollars? That's right, Jeff. So how would you be the all-time leading money winner? Well, some have called me that. I mean, they're, well, they're right. not right. They, yeah, they, they would be. But I'm be a contender. Factually I'm making incorrect. A, well, that's I'm great. making a statement. We wish you the best of luck. Thank you. You're welcome. Joe McKeon raising it up with the ace queen of clubs. Got to catch him off guard. Shield it, shield it on my side. Uh, he's already, uh, if him, he's out. Well, yeah, the under the gun's the weird spot. Yeah, I mean, these are just bad seats. For 
Did you see my hand? I didn't see it. I mean, I, I, I could have seen it because you flipped it up pretty high. I had to, like, look the away. It's the cards. That's why I hate these things. They're so huge. I know. You've got you to shield it with a hand. I agree. I do it on the side. Thanks, Gary. If you saw my hand, you would have folded anyway. That was good. Are they queen of clubs? Pretty good. Worth a play. Worth, worth a stab. See if I can get it. See what transpires. Sometimes you just win. Tens on the button. Frank DeNaro. Look at those eyes darting all over the place. Frank the Tank Fanaro with a couple of tanks on the button. Jack 10 off for Weissman. Taking a look at Frank's stack. Started the hand with about 30 picks. Getting an okay price with Jack 10 off? Just why? Not really no, necessary. Maybe consider three betting <laughs> no, not for a non-believer. Me a day off. Uh, just get used to this on repeat. Same song and dance. Raise and then a defense so cool. from the big blind. Even yeah. with a bad hand like King Five. Ace Queen Four. Not the flop either player is looking for. Queen Aros tens are best. Nice little bet, dinky Very sizing, 75K a down bet, despite coming ace queen high and you're holding two tens. Okay, Frank. You're still able to represent that portion of your range. You're not limited, but just having a small pair. You should have plenty of aces there, Jeff. Tell a story. I forget his name. I think I got it. Crazy Mike. King high. Yeah. I think that's him. But I've never, I think I'm No draw. Might not be. Well, Jack 10. Sounds right, though. No, I didn't have King Jack or King Ten. Yeah, no, King Ten, um, King High, no draw. Big, big. Mm. Doesn't matter that I'm much. Yeah. Day, but Plenty of others to get through too. Makes, makes sense. Totally reasonable. Oh, you're a tough player. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. <sighs> McKeon dishing out compliments left and right throughout this. Series. Very polite, Joe McKeon. Twenty-five. Uh, it's got to be a Sixers hoodie behind him, right, Jeff? He wouldn't so. come to a final He's table without five something five. from Philadelphia. <laughs> I can't call him Philly anymore. Weissman opens here at the Queen Jack. What are these, how many chips do they start with? Uh, 125, probably. Fives for McKeon in the small blind. 5, 000, right? play that. Uh, Just doing a quick count, wondering, do I have too much to shove it all in? Probably not. Considering Katz and Weissman both have him covered, it's just really nothing you yeah, can do. Yeah, puts most of it in the middle. Right. Starting the hand with 25 bigs. Not flatting. Rather than fold, just pile it in there, yeah, hope that fold. it goes fold, fold, and you pick up the pot. It's exactly what's going to happen. Joey probably is. So Joey can go either way. One of the most annoying hands I've played is what jo if Joey calls there and now you have to play with like, well, actually, you don't have that much behind. No, I, I, I once went all in with half my stack no. being an idiot. Oh, wait, you gotta kick. And then I was half stuck your playing stack some and Then you play some ridiculous pot and I obviously bricked and I was had no idea what I, to do. If, if I put in half my stack there, there are some flops I could have just had to fold on. I had, I had pair. Like, it just comes oh. ace, king, queen, I probably check fold. And that's true. Okay, so you a pair would be efficient for it. Yeah, 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 that'd be one. He's giving away his secrets.